boy, Mr. B from Bad Girl Barbecue, and we about to get it on, right? Light in the sky means smoke out the eye. Anyway, yeah, we're going to do a wild ham today. Yeah, a wild pig. Mm-hmm. Caught me a wild pig? Well, I didn't personally do it, because I'm not Indiana Jones, but I had somebody catch me a pig, skin it, took it to the butcher shop, and they did they thing to it, wrapped it up, and I put it in the freezer. So, I figured it was time to uh, thaw it out and put it to use. So come on in the kitchen with me, and let's see what we got going. Be back in a minute. You too. We are back. All right, so I know we was talking about today's cook, you know what I'm saying, a ham. Um, actually, this is a, a, a wild ham that, you know, I had my butcher cut up, and I froze it. Actually, what I did was, because the ham was already pretty much thawed out at that time and I wasn't going to cook it, I decided to uh, have my butcher, uh, like I said, after he chopped it up or whatnot, I decided to uh, go ahead and season it. So, this has been in my freezer for about three months, and I can't tell you what season it was on now, or what I what I seasoned with. I know the wife, and she uh, wrote on it on top of it, uh, seasoned ham, so I can't tell you what was in there. But, I figured out, what the heck. I shoot a video, show you how I cook this or whatnot, and how to uh, prep this. Oh, be on the lookout for a Thanksgiving smoked ham. I'm, I'm going to do that fresh, right? Got a pig coming in, um, having it butchered up and cut uh, just like, uh, you know, normal pieces of meat or whatnot. Or I might just put the whole slab on there just so you can see how a wild pig actually looks like in rare form once you skin him, take the hair off and all that stuff. But anyway... This is what I'm putting on the outside, just because I didn't really see no seasoning um, to give it some uh, decent taste. Remember, another tip, do not put salt on a pig or pork in general. Not too much anyway. The reason reason by it is a wild pig is already salty. I mean, unless you get some kind of pre-smoked ham or whatever, you know, they, they didn't cure it or something like that. But these, these pigs come salty already, i.e., like when you're cooking bacon, and you got that good taste. It's a salty taste by nature. That's natural. So just keep that in mind when you when you when piling that on. I know some people have a high cholesterol, high blood pressure, stuff like that. So obviously you want to keep that down to keep the eye down, which is what salt is pretty much based off um, or included in salt. So keep the salt down a little bit or use some salt-free uh, um, type salt, Mrs. Dash or something like that. But anyway, that's another story. I'm just using some standard old old great bag yellow mustard. Don't really care what what it, you know what it is, but what the mustard does is it coats this ham. And I bet you're saying mustard? Heck no, no. Listen to me, mustard. Just try a chicken wing. Put mustard on it. Put some seasoning on it. Put it on your smoker, and I can guarantee you won't taste that mustard at the end, unless you put it on there for two minutes and then take it off because the mustard's still gonna be on there. So what the mustard does, can't tell you where it disappears to, but you won't have that taste. What it does is, it allows me to put season on there, and I decided to put some uh, backwood hickory spice rub on there from St. Augustine, Florida. So feel free to go to, what is this, spiceandtea.com, and get you a couple of these, right? So shout out to them guys. Um, and no, I'm not sponsored by them. Hell, I don't even know who owns this, though. I just found it when I was in St. Augustine. But anyway, if you're an owner, hit me up. Should we get a check for this? But then, nah. Seriously, on a, no, serious. Yeah, send me a check. But no, nah, on another note, you can use mustard to coat any kind of meat. You know, put the seasoning on it because what it does is it allows your seasoning to stick. If I didn't have this mustard and I just tried to put seasoning on it, it wouldn't stick to the meat while it's cooking on the grill. You know, it's kind of like getting your car waxed and then you pour water on it. Ain't no water going to be on the car. So... It's all good. So another another method is using some kind of oil, preferably like olive oil. You can coat olive with olive oil if you don't you don't think mustard is gonna do the trick for you. Use some olive oil or whatnot. Um, it does the trick too. It allows the uh, seasoning to stick to whatever meat you're using, uh, especially for brisket and stuff like that. You know that you're doing a long cook on it, uh, pork shoulders, things like that. But I mainly stick with mustard just because I'm traditional from the south or whatnot. That's all I put on there. Like I said, the salt is already pre, you know, pre salty or whatnot. So I don't want to add really no salt in there. And I just want to taste the natural taste of the ham. If you never tasted that, trust me, 
It'll make you rethink how you cook ham. Um, I'm going to use another flavor when I do my ham for Thanksgiving. So be on the lookout for that video. Um, that's that's a awesome. I got two different flavors that I do. Um, I think I lose. Uh, I'm not even going to tell you. Just be on the lookout for that video. Um, might even fry ham too. I mean, fry ham. Fry a turkey for Thanksgiving and even show you that. That's a barbecue channel, but at the same time, that's part of barbecue and frying and, and doing things. So I might even fry up my fryer that's on my uh, my uh, grill to get y'all to see how that works too. So be on the lookout for some videos for that for the upcoming Thanksgiving cooks or whatnot. And we're gonna put this on the grill once my grill is uh fired up. So I'm gonna sit this out there in the, in the, in the refrigerator. Like I said, maybe an hour or two, depending on how long it takes me to get my grill to temp and and steady. Not just because my, my grill says at 300 that I'm gonna put a piece of meat on there. No, I need to make sure because what'll happen is I cook, I bring it up to about 300, 325, and I put a big slab like this on it, which is cold, right? Uh, normally I'll leave it out for maybe 30, 45 minutes, but I'm firing up my big, uh, big Bertha, my Shirley Fabrication smoker today, and uh, it's gonna take a while to get it to temp. I don't rush it, you know, like some people. If I was doing a competition or something, then I would rush it, but I don't do that. You know, I just want the meat to cook, you know, slow and tender, because that's when you get that tender meat that tastes oh so well. And y'all know what I mean by that. So stick with me, y'all. I'm going to be out there in a minute so I can show y'all me putting it on the grill. And I got some pineapple juice that I'm going to uh, baste it with um, just to keep the uh, the traditional taste of pineapples or whatnot. And we're going to go from there. All right. So I'll see y'all in a little bit out there at the grill. Peace. What's up, YouTube? We back. You can see I got my luxurious ham. Bam! I'm about to throw it on my Shirley Fab, aka Big Bertha. And we about to get crunk, right? Like I said, I put it in a tin foil pan. That's how I like to smoke my meat sometimes. Sometimes, just depends. You know what I mean? It's just one of them days. At some point, I might cover it up so I can uh, make it extra tender and juicy. But, uh, that's just how I'm feeling today. So there's no real rhyme or reason to why people do stuff um, or other than the secrets of ingredients. But uh, they, they generally turn out the same. I'm, I'm infusing wood, as you can see right here. So I'm, you know, my, uh, my wonderful wood that I've been having dry out. And uh, it's ready to rock and roll, nice and dry. Um, then we're gonna rock and roll. One big conception, though, misconception about wood, right? I hear a lot of people say, and I used to do this too, soak wood in water 24 hours a week and use that. But the reality is, is, okay, how long you soak wood? It'll probably take you about 20 years to get water to soak through wood thoroughly, right? In your mind, you might just because you physically see it, but the wood has layers on top of layers in it that take a long time to soak up water, unless the tree is obviously living, right? So... When people do that, you create steam inside of a smoker, not the smoke flavor. Just use common sense on it. Just think about it, right? You take something wet and you stick it inside here. What do you get? I'm not going to get smoke. I'll get the, the cloud, but that'll be steam, right? I know you've seen steam before. So when you take a dry piece of wood and apply it to heat, what do you get? You get a cloud as well, and it's not... Unless it's wet, or you buy some wood from somebody that, uh, you know, just cut a tree down, we call that wet wood, um, then you'll get that steam, steam after mass. So a lot of pros will tell you, use dry wood. So a lot of people will buy wood in the winter and let it sit, you know, sit out off the ground and let it just dry out. You know, cover, put a carp or a tarp over it or a cover over it or something like that, and then go from there. So fun fact for the day, use dry wood. If you got any questions, comment below, and I'll hook you up with some more tips on how to use dry wood, when to use chips versus chunks, when to use logs, etc. Tell me what kind of grill you got, and I can tell you, I pretty much use them all, unless you got a custom built one. But if you got a store-bought one, I'm pretty sure I've had it in the past. So, hit me up, ask me a question, and I'll get back with you. Um, other than that, we're going to let this, this, this ham rock and roll, and then we're going to go from there. I'll see you guys in about an hour or two. I'm going to say two hours because I'm going to baste it with uh, pineapple juice. Um, that's what I'm going to put my pineapples on. I'm not going to put them on now. I'm put my pineapples on in about an hour or two. So I'll be back. Holla.
What's up, YouTube? About to get in here and open this door. Show y'all the thing. Full of juice. Now we're finna do add these pineapples. This pineapple juice in there. Got my forks. We'll come back and do it. Really? Yep. Just lay them on there. Okay. Yep. I'm going to come back and put two picks on there. But I'm about to cover it up with aluminum foil. It's a lot of juice, man. Yeah. I want to save one of these for myself, shit. I'm going to hand it in the base though. Actually. Hold that shit over there. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. going to do the backyard style, y'all. Backyard. All right. So I'm going to get some toothpicks and put on him. I ain't going to waste y'all time while I'm doing that. Cover it up, and I'm going to stick it back in now. All right? Uh, so after this, about an hour, marinade, pineapple juice in there. Should be good to go. See y'all in about an hour. What's up, YouTube? Got my handy-dandy plastic gloves on to keep me from getting burnt. It's dark out, so that means we've been burning the midnight oil cooking this dog on uh, wild pig. But anyway, I'm going to take it off. So you me taking it off. I just put some wood on that so my smoke coming out. Uh, that's just some cabbage on the other side. No worries. Got a video coming soon for that. And we're going to take this in the house and I'm going to show you the final product. Be back in a minute. All right, YouTube, we back. And... We about to find out what this dog on ham look like together. Uh, let's see here. Come on, please be right. Bam! Oh, I'm eating Turkish too. So we're gonna let this sit. Just want y'all to see the final product. I'm gonna take some of this sauce and just baste it back over here in a minute. Cover it back up. Let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour, and then slice it up. This is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Holla at your boy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share my videos, man, so we can get the word out that we're trying to uh, put out videos that you request. Like I said, the majority of these are based on your request. So feel free to continue to do that, and we're going to make this thing big, y'all. YouTube by request. Holla at your boy.